Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. Hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see some interview questions on artificial intelligence. So this is actually one of the uh, trending areas uh, on current scenario. Uh, there is actually a lot of job opportunities coming in artificial intelligence uh, area. So if you have a basic understanding of artificial intelligence, it will be definitely good uh, if you want to start your career or if you want to progress further in your career. So we are going to see some basic questions on artificial intelligence in today's video. So if the video is useful, please like the video and also please consider subscribing to the channel and follow us on our Instagram page. So let's see the questions one by one. So the first question is, what is artificial intelligence and give an example of AI on a daily basis. That is something which we use on a daily basis, which is an application of AI. So what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is actually a branch of computer science which emphasize on creating of intelligent machines or systems which can react or think like human. So just like humans think or react, these type of machines or these computers or these intelligent machines, they react uh, accordingly. Okay. So that type of intelligence is called artificial intelligence. So this is not a natural intelligence. This is something which is being uh, implemented to the machines, which will make them think or react like humans. Okay. So making of intelligent machines, that is actually the basic concept of artificial intelligence. So the capability of a machine to imitate intelligent human behavior, that is called artificial intelligence. Now, talking about an application or an example of AI which we daily use is Google search engine itself. So we know that when we search for uh, any topic on Google, if we type some letters, after that Google will automatically suggest some recommendations and most uh, probably before writing the entire thing or typing the entire thing, we will get what we need. So this Google or uh, that machine has a capability to think like what will be your idea okay so this type of intelligence of the machines where machine uh, give you some suggestions uh, or some recommendations this is also an example of artificial intelligence so you can say google search engine is a very good example of ai or artificial intelligence the next question is what is machine learning and how is it related to artificial intelligence okay so we uh, generally hear these two terms together always machine learning and artificial intelligence now what is the difference between these two and how is they related to each other actually artificial intelligence uh, is the technology of uh, making the machines intelligent and make them think or react like human means like that intelligence is being given to the machines now what is machine learning it is actually a subset you can say it is a subset of artificial intelligence where we actually give some uh, algorithms or we build some algorithms to the uh, machines we feed some data and we give the machine some input and we make them uh, do the artificial intelligence or we make them intelligent so this is actually a subset of artificial intelligence and this uh, machine learning involves all the traits or data or the algorithms which we give to the machines to make them actually intelligent okay so that process or that techniques which we use to make the machines intelligence is coming under machine learning so machine is actually learning something this machine is actually learning to be intelligent like humans and these all techniques or algorithms or whichever uh, solutions or whichever uh, techniques we can say we are using is coming under machine learning okay so here we are actually giving the machine some data and we are training the machine. So if something coming like this, you should react like this. So just like that, we are actually building that artificial intelligence with the help of these techniques. And these techniques are coming under machine learning. So that is the relation between artificial intelligence and machine learning. So you can see machine learning is actually a subset of artificial intelligence. You can see the image now on screen. So which is saying that artificial intelligence is actually that so you can very clearly see in that image that artificial intelligence is that technique and machine learning with the help of machine learning we are actually uh, building that technique or intelligence in the machines okay so that is how they are related to each other the third, 
The third question is explain different domains of artificial intelligence. So here we are going to see what are the various subcategories which are coming under artificial intelligence. Okay. The first one is machine learning which we have already seen. So this is machine learning means it is actually you can see some techniques which we use to make the, uh, the machines intelligent just like uh, to think or react like humans. Okay. So that is machine learning. The next one is neural network. Now, neural network is actually a set of techniques or algorithms. With the second subcategory of uh, artificial intelligence is neural networks. We know uh, in order to behave or think like humans, uh, there should be a brain. Okay, so in neural networks, there are a set of algorithms and techniques which we put into the machines to model uh, something just uh, like human brain. Okay, so this algorithms and techniques will actually behave uh, help them behave like human brain. So uh, in order to react or think like humans, there should be a brain. So these algorithms and techniques will actually work or do the function of this brain, which is called neural network, which is again a subcategory of artificial intelligence. The third one, which is a very common thing, uh, which is called robotics. So robots are also uh, machines which are having artificial intelligence. There are some set of algorithms or techniques built into that robot uh, that is according to whatever category the robot is belonging to so it is also uh, reacting like humans okay because of this artificial intelligence itself so robotics is again a category subcategory of artificial intelligence the next one is expert system okay so expert system is actually a computer system that mimics the decision making ability of human okay so uh, when it comes to humans, we have some decision making ability, but generally the computer it doesn't have a decision making uh, ability unless and until it is taught to do so. So we are going to build some algorithms in the computer and making it uh, to do or to make some decisions whenever some situations is coming. Okay, And hence we are building that artificial intelligence in this machines. Okay, so that type of system is called expert system. The next one is again a very commonly heard term or it is a subject uh, which is called fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic means uh, we know in digital there is only one and zero but fuzzy logic uh, it is exploring more chances. It is not just completely one but it is halfway one. So that is uh, the logic which is exploring not just true or false but there are chances of not completely true or not completely false. Okay that is there is a degree of truth. It is not 100% is true, but there is some degree given to the true or false term. Okay, so that is fuzzy logic. It is a very uh, commonly heard term, especially for electronics related uh, branches because there is a paper which is called fuzzy logic. Okay, the next one is natural. The last subcategory of uh, artificial intelligence is natural language processing. So humans talk with a uh, language which is called natural language so making the uh, machines or system understand this natural language properly okay so nowadays if you uh, see there are various uh, techniques uh, used in google and all which is called google crowdsourcing and uh, these are uh, some platforms which actually explores the possibilities of artificial intelligence and how all we can make the computer or we can make the uh, the systems uh, uh, react like human or more human friendly so just like uh, we when we say something uh, on google it can actually understand our uh, voice or our language and it will give us the results okay so there is not just typing but we can also search uh, something in google with uh, this by talking okay so it can understand our uh, words or our language so the system is made more intelligent to understand how we talk when what is our language so these type of systems just like Google crowdsource platform is actually exploring various dimensions of artificial intelligence. There are again techniques which can recognize the image. We just have to capture the image and we have to uh, we have to show uh, Google and what and it will detect what is being written in the in that uh, image. OK, so there is again techniques which is called Google Lens. We just have to show the Google Lens app. Uh, to a particular image and it will scan that image and if it is showing some uh, shops or any location it will give you all the details of the location okay so these are various uh, various techniques 
which are being explored by Google, uh, which are coming under artificial intelligence. Okay. So uh, whether it is language or whether it is vision or letters, we are making the systems understand all these things just like humans. Okay. So nowadays artificial intelligence has uh, grown in all dimensions and every uh, company you can say not just Google but uh, various other companies are also uh, exploring the possibilities of AI and how they can use AI uh, in their various applications or softwares and make it more uh, automated or uh, human friendly. Okay. So, so artificial intelligence is one branch which is uh, growing nowadays a lot. There is a lot of job opportunities also coming in this field. And uh, if the interviewer is asking you some basic questions, you should be understanding. Uh, that. So that is the third question. These are the various categories of uh, artificial intelligence. These are sub categories of artificial intelligence. The next question is what is deep learning and how is it related to AI? So deep learning is again uh, coming under artificial intelligence itself. And this deep learning is actually a subset of machine learning. So this deep learning, it refers to multi-layered neural networks to process data in more increasingly sophisticated way. Means deeply we are going to process the data and we are going to analyze what information is present in that data and based on which the computer or the system will uh, make some decision by itself. Okay, so we are going to uh, inbuilt some uh, algorithms or some neural networks uh, or you can see some techniques uh, in the computer which will help uh, the system to analyze the data more deeply or in a more sophisticated way and the system itself will decide what decision is to be taken okay so this type of learning is called deep learning and it is a subset of machine learning for example, enabling a software uh, to perform tasks like image recognition or speech recognition by training the software by giving it various data sets. Okay, by uh, giving various amount of data sets, we are going to train the system uh, to perform image recognition or speech recognition properly. Just like uh, in Google, there is various uh, data Google is taking uh, through the crowdsource platform and with the help of these data sets, the software is actually getting trained and after uh, getting trained properly, it can do image recognition or speech recognition by itself without making error. So we are going to give thousands or 10,000 of uh, data sets to the machine to train itself. So this type of learning is called deep learning and it is a subset of machine learning it means we are making the machines learn by giving it thousands of data sets. So this type of learning is deep learning. <clears throat> so these are some basic questions that can come from artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a field which is growing tremendously nowadays. So there is a lot of job opportunities uh, available uh, in various fields or various companies. So please make use of it. Try to grab at least the basic understanding of artificial intelligence. I'm really hoping that this video was useful for that. If yes, please like the video and you can share the video with your friends. And if you want more advanced level questions from this area, please comment that in the comment section. We'll be doing that soon. So please support the channel by subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.